Creating golf content for YouTube, when done right, can actually be really easy to do. I'll be running you through the equipment needed, different filming styles, and how to create shot traces. So make sure you stick around until the end because I'm going to be giving away my key pieces of advice for anyone starting out. There are two options for what device you can film on. One is a phone and one is a camera. You do not need the most expensive gear before starting, so please do not go out and buy the most expensive DSLR camera before even filming a video. If you're using your phone, make sure you have a power bank as well uh, because your phone might run out of battery on the course. If you're filming by yourself or you want the easiest types of shot traces to make, then you're going to need a tripod. I've put an affiliate link down below uh, with a really affordable and good tripod to use, so that's just an option for you. If you plan on talking during your round, then you're going to need some form of microphone. This could either be a shotgun microphone or it could be a lavalier microphone. May have pronounced that wrong, uh, but that's a microphone that you attach to your shirt. I personally use a shotgun microphone that I attach to my camera, so that's, that's my setup. You are probably going to need a computer to edit on. That could be a laptop or a desktop computer. I have heard of someone editing golf content on their phone. Props to you, that sounds extremely hard, so I'm not going to pitch that, but that I guess is another option. Next you need an editing software. So the best free option here is DaVinci Resolve. It's a fantastic software. The other options are if you want to pay for your software, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. I personally use Premiere Pro. For shot tracers, uh, if you have a tripod, I would highly recommend using a shot tracer app. This can just be found on the App Store, um, super easy to use, may not be perfect, but it'll do the job. If you want to do shot traces without a tripod, then you're going to need After Effects. Any overlays like scores, distances to the pin, any of that kind of stuff can be done either on PowerPoint, Google Slides, Photoshop, or Photopia, which is the free alternative. So that's really all the equipment and the software that you might need, uh, but now I'm gonna go into the filming styles and what kind of content you might wanna produce. Just a quick couple of points before I get into this though. Number one, any type of content you may want to film on the course is going to take longer than just playing. So either try and play your round to the course's expected round time or book in for when it will be quiet and you know you can play a slightly longer round. Number two, you know, I think you're going to get a few weird looks when you film on the course. It's just to be expected, I know I do. Um, don't let that put you off as long as you're being respectful to the course, to the people, and you're playing to a fast enough pace, then there's nothing to worry about. So the first main filming style, and probably the easiest way of getting started, is filming your round with a tripod, and then afterwards adding a voiceover. Set the tripod up directly behind each of your shots, especially the longer ones where you want to have shot traces. For putts, you can set up the camera slightly off to the side. Then before uploading all the content to your computer, you can edit all the shots that you want shot traces for on your phone in the app. So an extension to this filming style is adding live commentary to the round while talking into a microphone attached to your shirt instead of doing the voiceover afterwards. But I'm just gonna take it straight at the pin. Try to get something close. This grass is quite like rough, so. So the other main type of filming style, which is the one I do, film on the course with some other playing partners and then react and talk to the camera as you go. Felt like a good swing. Shot traces become a lot harder to do when you're filming each other and you're not using a tripod. However, I've put together a very comprehensive shot tracer tutorial for After Effects. So if you're interested in filming that way, then click up here. There are probably heaps of other filming styles and editing styles that you can go for. However, those are probably the most common too. There's probably hybrids of both. So just experiment, play around. From here, you'll need to edit your footage. And this is where the majority of the time in the process is spent. And a well edited video is just invaluable. People don't have a lot of time on their hands. On their hands. <laughs> People don't have a lot of time on their hands, so make sure to keep things snappy. Here is where you can record and add your voiceover to the footage, if required. Add some royalty-free music. This could take a bit of Googling to find. I personally pay for a royalty-free music subscription, and I just find it gives me peace of mind, really. Now you can add your overlays to the content as well. Um, I'll just show you a quick example of how this could be done in Google Slides as a free example. Overlays can be super fiddly and time-consuming, depending on how much information you want to include, so just make sure it's worth it. Render your video. You thought you were done, you're not. So we need to make a title, a description, and the thumbnail as well. So what I would say is, is YouTube is really handy for um, finding out some great advice for how to create effective thumbnails, titles, and descriptions as well. So make sure you use that. 
my key pieces of advice just start somewhere honestly you don't need to have all your ducks in a row to make a golf video just you know start filming on your phone do a quick edit and publish it to youtube and you're away enjoy the process playing golf is only actually going to be a tiny portion of the amount of time it takes you to publish content online so make sure you enjoy the process because you know if you don't enjoy editing making thumbnails all that kind of stuff you could run into the risk of getting burnt out and finally don't worry about the stats early on make sure you're just posting consistently having a lot of fun on camera and i assure you the views will come i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions just pop them down in the comments below i'll make sure to answer every single one of them if this has been any use to you at all make sure to leave a like on the video it would help me out a lot so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.